Hey there guys, and welcome to another episode of First Impressions. Uh, this week we're taking a look at a game called This Is The Police. Uh, it's apparently a sort of citywide police management game, uh, part of this month's Humble Bundle. Uh, I'm here with Vicky. Hello. Uh, who has the gamepad in her hands, so she's going to be in control for this one. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to launch straight into the story mode and see what this game's all about. Kind of uh, interesting, I had a very... Okay. Oh. City Hall confirms rumours of Jack Boyd's resignation. Mayor Rogers' sex maniac. Mark War II to be shown in Freeburg the day before the worldwide premiere by the mayor's personal request. Okay. Go to work. It's got to work, yeah. Oh, looks like we drive a pretty crap car. Just hit it. Hit it. <laughs> just, just punch it. I'm really, like, I know this is more of a management game, but I'm hoping it has similar storyline to L.A. Noir because I really When I was one. a kid, my father go. sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday, I turned 60. You pressed oh. the button, didn't you? I pressed the button. So, goodness only knows what's happening. First thing we've learned about this game, don't press buttons during cutscenes. Oh, we've got choices. Okay, Ooh. yesterday the Mayor's Office officially announced our re your resignation. Does this come as a surprise or did you know about it in advance? Mm. What do you think? I think we should go with... I think these choices are yours, but I'm, I'm half tempted to say I've been expecting this bullshit from the Mayor. <laughs> I'm going to go with what's the difference. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Bit of a bit of a no comment answer there, kind mm -hmm. of. Did you already know the name of your successor? I like the last option in each of these is the completely nonchalant, don't give a shit option. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's go with the veteran. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna be professional for now. One of my current employees, huh? Francis Kendrick said he was looking forward to resigning. Perhaps. Perhaps. I'm trying to keep this really, like, within the style of the game, let's see. Uh, it sounds possible if he thinks the new office would help him serve the city a little longer. Mm -hmm. Fair. Although Fair. Kendrick was acquitted, many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. Do you have anything to say about this? <laughs> no comment. Oh, and that's the most incriminating thing you can say in this situation. I was like, bullshit. <laughs> Maybe they're in coats as aliens. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's a very, um, sort of simple art style, which I quite like. Hmm. Yeah. Or someone just didn't learn how to paint faces at school. Also possible, <laughs> they are difficult to draw. Personal relations with them there, huh? Sounds a bit sketchy if you ask me. How's did the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. <laughs> Don't let anyone in. Wonder how we did Even on. Mr. Kendrick. Especially Mr. Kendrick. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we're not a fan of our potential successor. No. <laughs> Ooh. We're going for the pills now. It's a strong start. Strong start, Jack Boyd. Right, let's just hope they're there for the back pain. And yes. Not. And a cigar. Yeah. Of course. Meh, <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> At some point in this game, can we declare one of our detectives a loose cannon? As camera? soon as I heard yes. the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. That Rude, man. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. There's no smile. Mayor no. Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even that the floorboards under his feet yeah, sound that's like gonna irritate creaking me. an apology. <laughs> He never shied away from the odd corruption As our first scheme. Actors, police chief, it's can like we the fix devil that walks behind him. Yeah. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. 
Rogers plays tennis with them instead. Yeah. That's about Snaking. the only difference. Mm -hmm. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Hmm. No. This morning I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon you won't be able to smoke here either. I don't think we like this guy Soon either. Soon enough he I won't be here at all. Yeah. Hey, he fixed the picture though. I like him. He can stay. <laughs> the people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief of all people. <laughs> don't, uh... Don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. I think we That's need to not be quiet. That's the only thing that you still yeah. have left. Mayor's doing some dodgy be shit. The yeah, there's something he well, doesn't want to stick in our noses into. together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. Hmm. Oh, he just stole our cigar. Ah, and put it out on the city. 180 days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. <laughs> I don't have any problems with you. That's half the year, And you isn't it? won't have any mm. problems with days. me. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell mm. me, call him. But try not to bother Stark. him. He's a, he's a busy man. <laughs> he's hired some sort of knockoff Iron Man. Best. No, Star, Tony Star. Ah, uh, Tony Star. And quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Oh, Ooh, now that's. All right, we've got 180 days to fuck shit up. Oh, hello. Well, hello. Oh. I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. <laughs> Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself, Troy Star. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think he's actually doing that to that woman. Um, nah. Okay, day two. Head of culture department owns villa in Italy. My retirement is my own business. Francis Kendrick is a decent man. Uh, Why did we say these things? Why I don't think that was quite all we said, but you know what the press are like. Well, oh. yeah. All right, day two. Let's cause some trouble. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Oh. Everybody just takes Not snacks from the machines yeah. or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eaten here are ghosts. Mm. Wow. Uh. My deputy, Francis Kendrick. He recently became one of those ghosts. The subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. Damn. I need that oh, file I no. asked for. Needs to be him. ready tonight. Francis great. didn't say um. anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. <sighs> Lovely place to work, it's just a, it's got, The game's already really dark. Oh, hello. Right. Yes, show me what you've got so that we know what we're doing. Okay. Freeburg organises upcoming work assignments into shifts. Every shift, officers respond to crimes in progress and detectives continue their investigations. You can freely move employees between shifts. Proceed. Uh, they've all got their own characteristics, as you'd expect. Yeah. Pro professionalism is the efficiency of your police. Uh, 150 is average. Anyone below that's not entirely reliable. <laughs> Anyone higher than average, you're a safe bet. So above 150, okay. Energy. Is this bar on the side? Yep. Less energy, less reliable. They might fall asleep. <laughs> at the wheel, well. Yeah, let's not have that happen. Lose one point of energy after each working day and restore one for each show of rest. So you okay. don't want them working so seven want them, days a week. Yeah, you want them rotating. 
They don't tell you everything. Some are hidden. Oh. Come up with any reason they can think of to get a day off. Their grandma's died three times in a row, I'll imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and others just like to drink. Okay. Okay. So. Who have we got? We got Kochi. Lots of. Okay, well, it's not length thick, so we're just going to do start of the day, I guess. Oh, wait. Shift. Shift B. Oh, this is Shift B. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's move this cigar. <laughs> Blow that off. All right. So I think this is this is our our real time map from what I was seeing in the trailers. Yeah. So you respond to calls, um, send them to the crime scene before time expires. Mark on the map will show you where they need to go. Further away is longer it takes to travel there. Fine. Okay. Well, let's never send price on anything. Professionalism of five. Yeah. All right. So we've got. 15 minutes for this first one. And um, we just select someone to to send, I guess. Oh, there we go. Right, so. Send one of those good ones, just, you know. Yeah, I don't want to send our best, so let's start with Yancey. How do we actually send it? No idea. I hit the left trigger. Ah, and then, yeah, go down and select it. What do you mean, go down? Hit it. There we there go. We go. Okay. That's it. So you select the task, and then you... So you can send up to two officers on this one. Yeah, and there'll be other available information. So this is a hit and run. Married couple. Ooh. Oh dear, so someone's run over. A... It doesn't sound like any weapons are involved, but, I mean, should we send someone good and someone... One of our best, and maybe one of the rookies, because the best one might help them. Yeah, so... Send in Yancey. Maybe maybe Asano or Asano, yeah. I th nice I like nice it. little combo we got going on there. Right, let's do this. Let's go, there they go, look. Oh, oh look! Oh, it's the sound of the police. <laughs> really? Really? Like... Oh, we got another one. The last picture show theatre. Alright, what we got? A drunk man forced his way into the theatre, carrying a snowboard. <laughs> What does he do? He violently attacked the cashier. Oh, that's not a strong start. And there's a fight happening right now. Oh, well, we need to get some people on that. All right. So, I'm going to send Koji and Purdy. Ooh, sending send two of our best. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, to stop this fight. Let's see how badly we do on the first day. Got so I think this thing in the middle is us. There's oh, this we building in the middle. the SWAT team. I mean... Probably a bit of an overkill. Probably a bit overkill. <laughs> One guy is having. Oh, uh, right trigger for the messages for the report on hit and run. Okay, nobody dies. The truth is, sometimes they manage to escape. Just try to avoid any dead cops or civilians. Offend the court! Call. Hey, that's hey. cracking! Officers unharmed. That's exactly what we wanted, right? That's what we like. It seems to be a bit stormy. Right? Is that going to affect the mission? I don't know. Fight report. Well, we got Offender court. court. Yeah, we'll take that. That's two officers unharmed, civilians unharmed, and they both got more professional. Love it. We like that. We well, are yeah, kicking butt as an officer. Right. Yeah. Suburb. Three teenagers armed with a shotgun. Now can I send this? No, I can't send this squad. Um. I know, but the other officers aren't back yet. Oh no. Bollocks. So three teenagers, one shotgun. I don't forget these are probably American cops, so they are armed. Yeah, but they're. All right. Well, we'll just send our two best. I guess. Oh, then we're going to leave Price on his own. I don't know. I don't know. I've sent too many I people out. I think we out. should just never send Price on anything ever, unless it's already a surefire unless, bet. If he gets shot, do we get a new officer who's better? <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking of using Price as a human shield in the hope of getting someone better? Right. I'm actually going to send <laughs> Price on this mission with Subaki. Yeah. Um, in the hope that he'll gain some professionalism. Okay. Price looks a bit like an old lady. I'm, oh, I'm not being funny. Oh, there's another call. What have we got? Brother and sister clashed. Oh, but these two are back. Yancy and Asano have got back. Yeah. I think this only needs... We don't dare separate them. 
what do we reckon? Yancey on, on his own? And, and No, I'm going to send Asano on Austin. And yeah. then, because we want to keep, like, okay. I don't think it's a major disturbance. Yeah, their professionalism isn't aw awful, so... And between them. Yeah, send them on their way. And there's a few more happens. people on their way back, so... Hope... No, they've got, like, a like a cool-down thing, look. The, yeah, the, look. When the hey. portrait fills up, and when it goes fully empty, that's when they arrive on site, so... Price and soon. Oh, we're going to the ghetto. Attack an elderly and run away with the guitar and Ooh, money. Ooh, this one's got three slots. Which in, in, indicates it's probably going to be tougher. So I'll send Yancey and Purdy. Yeah. Yeah, because they're both quite high. Send the dream team. Send the dream. <laughs> send the dream team. Yancey, Purdy. Purdy looks like a tank of a person. I know, right? I wouldn't mess with Purdy. Officer Ooh. When your cops aren't sure how to see them, might contact you on how to handle the situation. Okay. The vehicle in question is parked outside the Browns residence. The sounds of moaning and loud laughter. Well, they're watching the porn <laughs> videos that they stole, aren't they? Um, how many officers did we send? Two, and one of them is Price. Um, I don't think we are. Oh, we could sneak in. Can we sneak in? Is that against the law? I don't know. I, uh, I don't know American law enough. To... No, I I think we might be expected to either knock on the door or use the siren and loudspeaker. They've got a shotgun. Do we want to walk in there? Let's do I'd say stay further away. Right, okay, then let's do the loudspeaker option. Ooh. Offender escaped. No one was hurt? No, no one was hurt. We lost, Tsubaki lost some. But Tsubaki lost a bit of, bit of uh, professionalism. Okay. Okay, we're not listening to spanners anymore. Okay, yeah, don't listen to my. Uh... <laughs> oh, here we go, fight report. Fight report. Offender yeah. report. And both of them got better. Now, that was a good, good shout sending those two. On the desk. This is much more fast paced than I was expecting. This yeah, is it nice. is actually a bit, isn't it? This is only day two. I get the feeling it's going to start adding more elements in later than just sending more officers out. We've got a money bar as well. You've yeah. knocked a control. Oh, yeah, you just hit something. It's, oh, I'll whack my elbow on the desk so it moved the mouse. Oh, look at that! Nice. Oh, those two are getting good. Those two are getting very good. Yeah. <clears throat> the Yancey I think they're cool now. Our three end of the day. Click that stick. Click it. Oh. That's it. If you think you'll need a couple of extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cop to come in and work overtime. Okay. We don't need overtime just no. yet, I don't think. No, no, no. See, we haven't had to use Mole, DeBrito, or Armstrong at all. What's that one? Right button is that one. Right button. So, that's the next shift. They're the, they're the guys that are going to come on tomorrow. Stovall is amazing. Yeah, right. The rest of them the are a little bit lacklustre. But we can team like a higher and a lower one to. Yeah, I think that's our well. best best bet. Where we've got twos, take the highest and the lowest. Used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. This guy... Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. I think he's had a mental breakdown. Internal affairs raided the library <laughs> so he inherited from his grandfather, mm. hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed well, in the know, pages. I think he needs Heard some about help. the look on yeah. his face. Can we use some of that money we earned yesterday? Fearless to get policeman by... standing yeah, helpless in nice. horror. Yeah, we'll I've known Francis for 30 <laughs> years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery Ooh, than anything else. He is else. a bit of a sketchy. Probably sounds crazy, but Got I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. Mm -hmm. Don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments mm. will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing mm. with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. What? Half a million? Why not a whole million? That's a because weird everybody dodgy wants too. to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? 
Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. So you're going to have a never choice here. Yeah. for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business. And so I'm if not we trying catch the big criminals, so we can earn the good money or we can go dodge. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. But then that's risky. Sooner or later, yeah. they'll mm. put the finger on you. I like that. And, yeah. and I like one more that thing, sort of Jack. I, I mean, remember I think what you said, but we could try I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Christopher, Christopher Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. The great guest. Always wears old-fashioned yeah. jeans and knitted sweaters. Yeah. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great grandfather. Well, and Sand is strict about following the old so rules. I think he's going to be the the old. He rarely catch. involves himself if in complaints, murders, and yeah. robberies. You can pin him down. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone or to get his point across. he'll be the one that we across. end up working for. The people who oh, work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed. Even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, San pulls the strings yeah, without getting his hands dirty. His lieutenants, people Bring sometimes them mistake his maybe quiet them a approach. Deal. Yeah. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand his work. business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. Oof. In four Nasty weeks, guy. San killed 31 people, what? old men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Wow. Yeah. Rule of fear. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. You tell him, Jack. Oh, we reached a checkpoint. That's cool. Day three. Kendrick announces retirement day. Andrew Singer comes to Freeburg. Construction of Cinema Museum postponed again. Ah, off to work we go. In our crappy little car. <laughs> Can we get a Ferrari please? Or a Dodge. I quite like a Dodge. Hmm. People are going to request days off, huh? My cat ate some cream past its sell by date and they had diarrhea. Okay, now that is the five star person. So, so he's lying. Either he's lying, or we say yes but come tomorrow, so he has to join the next shift, and if he says he can't make it to that, we kick his ass. Yeah, alright, we'll give him benefit of the doubt. Start with leniency, but then crack... Oh, come on! Nah. No. Put this rank. Employees begin at lowest rank and can be elevated. One, two or three stripes. Once a week, you can pass out stripes and improve the rank of employee. If you think no one's worthy, you can postpone until later. Okay. Uh, now that's cool. Right. Employees are now... Uh... Okay. So you can almost use it as a reward. Yeah. Or an incentive to do better. But also, if we if we striped, say, the 400 guy or or something like that... Yeah, he should be striped by now. And he's got he? one stripe. Yeah. And look, the rest have got naught. So maybe promote Vandal... Yeah. ...is what I'm thinking, because then if we send the worst people with them, they're more likely to do better. How are we clicking stripes? Uh, looks like X to promote employee. Top of it. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, we've got one more stripes... Uh, or we can postpone the stripe giving. What are these brown guys? I bet they're um, investigators, detectives. Yeah. Something like that. And they can be promoted as well. Yeah. Beasley and Moser. Let's give Beasley some stripes. Then. They are now our Starsky and Hutch. I hope you realise that. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Start the day. I can't believe Roy is taking the day off. Oh. <laughs> Well, okay. you can choose the music okay. today. What what yeah. song would you like to, to use today? Green Rocks playing jazz. That one looks kind of cool. Let's let's. 
Better See, job. that's cool. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, yeah. So this is the, I like that. You can select the music for the day. Ooh. Oh, we don't want to sack people. We should have sacked the guy that was going to take time <laughs> off. Okay, it's probably an important thing to know, though, isn't it? Affairs. So that's uh, this button here. Mm-hmm. Police station. Oh, look, there's loads to unlock. Uh, right but button. This one. You have a certain number of paid job openings for which you can hire any available applicants, job slots that separate between officers and detectives. Got so it. we've got 15 out of 16 cop slots. So we could get another cop. Might be worth adding another cop to shift eight. Since, we've, since we're missing someone. Yeah. I and she's she's idea. pretty hot on it, isn't she? Yeah, good professionalism. We like that. Okay, we've hired her. Cool. Wonder free up us long time to fire someone. No, that's no. not fire Snowball! I'm trying not to, it's not letting me Oh, is it demonstrating? I don't wanna fire him. I don't wanna fire him. Don't make me Why fire the hell him. would we fire Snowball? What? No. I'm pressing every button but A just in case I can change. No, it's weak. Oh. Making you do it. <laughs> that is the most. You have legal grounds for termination. No one asking any questions. You might need fire. In any way, legality will be damned. There'll be proceedings. Okay. Fire legally because too old. Town, can so I just... No! Aha! Ah, I have yeah. <laughs> We get to keep him. Uh, you can hire another detective as well. Yeah. Uh, that was LB, wasn't it? Uh, the, the right bumper. Right bumper, Let's okay. Go to the labour market. Well, I, I don't mean to uh, piss on Frank Drebin's... Frank... Frank what? Drebin? Was that the guy from Naked Gun? Oh, you're gonna look it up now. Yeah. Um. I'm sure it was. I'm sure that's the name of the guy from uh, the Naked Gun. Okay. Well, we've hired Cynthia Ames instead. Set John's Cathedral. There's a frightened call. Someone's been painting satanic symbols. So this this isn't a crime in pro like it's not going on now. It happened no. last night and it needs looking into. And there's no weaponry mentioned, so maybe not need to send our best and brightest. No. Uh let's send Robbins. Yeah? You yeah, you you go have fun, Robbins. We'll see you later. Uh L3. Please click the left stick. That just brings up that thing instead of having to go through the affairs window. Okay, fine. Oh, the Atticus Tower. Ah, uh, okay, so we saw two Danish scratching offensive slogans on his new car. Oh. It is! I've just checked on Naked Gun, and it's Detective Frank Drebin. Okay, we're just gonna send... Played by Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> I've just sent one officer to the scratching on the car thing, because, yeah. come on, it's teenagers and it's a rich guy. It was in. Samadhi, wasn't it? That you yeah. Said that. So he's, he's, he's decent. He's got the greatest of Robbins is done. What have we got? Oh. Oh. But Officer on Harm, oh, that loses him points though, doesn't it? Eddie's Burgers, what we got? Just served a chicken and a to a dangerous criminal who she's seen on television. Let's send a couple of people if it's a dangerous criminal. Maybe Go on, Stovall. Stovall. Stovall and someone for him to lead. Grant. I don't want anyone too low level, because yeah, if this is a big time criminal... Yeah, worth getting them. Yeah. been on the TV. I All like right, that let's planning. Let's go for that. Come on, Stable. Do <laughs> your thing. Do your thing. Vandalism report. Oh, oh, right. I think we've got when to When we just send one, it's, it's well, struggling, isn't it? you can't corner them, can you? I yeah. Guess, so. Okay. At Lesson. least the officers are coming back unharmed. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Yeah, let's get it right. I reckon the SWAT team is only available in dem serious situations. Yeah. All right, what have we got? Mistaken retired officer Frank Nero for the fugitive. Sorry, Frank. Uh, <laughs> Never mind, at least, you know, at the end of the day, nobody was hurt and 
Ooh, ooh. Well, this looks this is different. Mr. Boyd, my bouncer stuffed himself and made some food again. Now we can't. Line oh, so they want an officer who can act as a bouncer. Vandal or Robbins, I'd say it's one of their one of them's up. Yeah, let's say Vandal, because we don't we don't want any incidents going down. Yeah, we'd rather not have this go wrong. Because this is a nightclub, it's potentially a source of information if we keep them on side. Yeah, is we need thinking. someone that's got some experience there, I think. Okay. Yeah. That's where I'm going with that. Oh it's yeah, we got stable looking, in that back. All now. looking pretty quiet at the moment. Oddly quiet. Do that, do do. So what do what are the detectives up to? What are the what are they doing? Clan carrying is selling crack to teenagers. Stovall, end it. So you just want to send some Stovall, crush him. <laughs> Stovall and let's Stovall and Grant. Let's make that a partnership. Was it Stovall and Grant? You wanna you wanna keep them together? No, I wanna get some experience up because these are they're very, pretty bad, very aren't they? Bad. Well, like we've got Birch and we've got Birch Junior, and they're both awful. The father and son cop team that are just like, hopeless. The father is bad, but the son is even. Oh, worse. quick, quick! Send up someone on that because that's a suicide threat. Naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has, has threatened to set himself on fire unless right, his favourite flavour of chewing gum comes available. What's going on at the police station though? Uh, it's uh, labour market. Yeah, it'll be that. How do I move across to that? Uh, the uh, right bumper. Now you got a free cop slot. Did we lose someone? Has someone died? No. I don't think so. Hope not. Um, We're on shift A at the moment, so... Should we... Yeah, I could use an extra cop on shift A, I guess. Yeah. Bring him in. Uh, I think he comes in the next time. Check the messages. Got a report. You're so demanding. I know. Do the thing. God, sorry, chief, but I quit. What? Ugh. Damn oh it! He no. was good. He, and he got... stole our cop. Bastard. I mean, he paid us, but. But we lost a cop. Jeez. I guess replaceable. No, we've lost a two ten, and we did just hire a two hundred. Yeah, it's so that's not, not awful if we promote that to Drug sales. Um, hang on. Yeah. Um. What do you reckon? Because it could be the wrong clown. I'm just saying. I think we don't want it to. Um, maybe pretend to be an illicit customer. I think we're too far away. He's going to run away. If he knows. Oh yeah. If we get close. 11, 11. Yes! yes! It was the right guy. And Birch Jr. got a little bit better at his job, and Stovall got even better. I was going to say, like the, that. the like fact that. we had Stovall out on that. Suicide threat, did we save him? A oh, got arrested, okay. Well, come on, it was a naked guy with a canister of gasoline threatening to set himself on fire if they yeah. didn't start selling a certain brand of chewing gum. Yeah, I guess. Um, That's end of day. Click the stick. See how we did on that day? I think that went pretty well. Yeah. And it's back to shift B tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checkpoint. <sighs> Enemies using feminists to destroy Freeburg. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, back to story time. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door. I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Mm. Hello, my name is Steve. <laughs> my name is Elder Price. To get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently listens to them, asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. <laughs> but a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door on his nose this time. <laughs> Another couple weeks at this rate, this and I'll be not greeting anyone time. who comes close like, to no. the service pistol pointed towards the sky. 
ready to fire my warning shots. Huh. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. It's pretty well written, though. It is. Normally, yeah. when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. A story for all but Laura days. just disappeared. The oh, children yeah. in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. The in-laws well, always blame the husband left. for making their daughter unhappy. Huh. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, <laughs> we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. Wow. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's Ooh. lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Sally's gonna track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything game, stupid, which of course Maybe. means anything at all. Or it's a crazy situation. Or, or if you successfully I'm the police divorce her. Chief, and the One person of those I'm trusting ladies. to find my yeah. wife is an old woman armed with a phone Sounds book. like he can do better. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. Yeah. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. So, we gotta not get involved. With prostitutes mm. or people advancing on us. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's, That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? Um, An address, yes. phone number? Have Think you spoken to her? Think of a dog looking at the painting behind Don't worry, her. Don't yeah. I <laughs> narrowed the range to two even a suspects. Digimon. Or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriend. Where to keep her as an ally? an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, <coughs> Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. She's got and energy. You have nothing, mm. Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for it's your got an call. impressive bow It is, yeah. Like thin. hexagonal. I think that's both the art style. If you've stopped loving me, shape of his I'll bolt. let you go. No, I like to think that's what I it looks like. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Mm. And off to work we go. It's a day three. Well, I think that's a pretty, pretty good first impression of, oh, what happened now? Um. You were up reading, and you want no. There, no. Hell no. My band's playing a charity concert for six children. Uh, see, Yancy's children. pretty professional, so I don't think he'd lie. Yes, maybe get him tomorrow. coming in tomorrow. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. I think that's all the time we have for today on this first impression. I like this game. I like this game. I like this game. I want to play more of this game. You're going to play more of this game, I'm going to play you? more of this game. I think it's interesting. I'm really interested to see where it goes. I can't wait to start using the detectives and see what they're for. They're probably to do yeah. with catching those bigger players and getting the bonuses. So, yeah, I'd be interested to see where it goes. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, um, in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. And keep your eyes open because we'll be releasing one of these every week. Uh, I've been Chris and playing the game this week has been Vicky. Bye-bye. See you, bye.